Hello everyone, welcome to Softic Mentor. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a polygon shape file. Previously, we have covered how to make line shape file and a point shape file. This is easy. You have just to follow the steps, and uh, we are going to start it. If you have not subscribed my channel, please do it now so that you can receive the notification of my new videos. So first, we are going to select catalog. You can see there. Just clicking on that catalog, the disk which we have connected already uh, is open. If you want to connect any other folder you just click on that one go to that folder and connect it you can also create new folder there after creating a new folder just click on uh, the folder in which you want to shape that shape file and I'm going to save there in GS tutorials and now uh, I, I want to name my shape file I suppose I'm going to name it clock name and the type is polygon and you can see the coordinate systems are not set so in description you can see that how we are going to select a coordinate system for that we have to go there in, in edit and uh, now we are you will see the two options there geographic coordinate system and the projected coordinate system just go to the geographic coordinate system now in word and you can see the WGS 1984 which mean word geodetic system and now you are going to select OK in the description now you can see the uh, geographic coordinate system which is geographic coordinate system word geodetic system 1984 uh, by pressing the ok now you can see uh, your shape file that you have created polygon shape file in table of content that shape file is in table of content if table of content is not appear for example I, uh, there's no table of content for me so i wanted to see that one you can see there the option of table content just clicking on that you can uh, uh, you can see uh, your table of content so now uh, we have created uh, our desired uh, polygon shape file now we are going to work on multiple tools remember that uh, thing that whenever you want to work on any shape file you have to start editing so uh, click on start editing and now uh, it will give you option or if it's a single uh, shape file it will automatically start editing we are going to learn uh, different tools there you can see I have start editing and uh, there, uh, now uh, now you can see the multiple options there uh, what are the options uh, I have uh, added vertices tools reshape tool and cut polygon tool rotate tool attributes sketch properties and create features there are multiple uh, tools are there in editor so uh, we are going to use it one by one in uh, I have made a previous tutorial for reshape feature tool you can see in the description for that one but now I'm going to explain edit vertices cut polygon so if you want to mark the uh, polygon in some area for example I'm going to add some imagery uh, I will also teach you how uh, to download that imagery I have taken it from Google Earth so I'm just going to add um, for this is Expo Center in Lahore in Pakistan I'm going to add it you can see uh, for uh, sometimes this happen for example I am there and I'm not seeing imagery there and in table of content it is so how we are going to see that one just uh, uh, second uh, right click on that one you can just click on zoom to layer and you can see the image whole image so this is the best way to do it so now we are going to start uh, marking our polygon we have want to mark it you can see the red lines that I have drawn in Google Earth so I will just create uh, click on create features you can see the create features by clicking on block and now I can start making a polygon so I'm just marking there you can see uh, this one I'm marking that and you can see that the polygon in the table of content is the icon is showing that it's not hollow it's mean it's inside is color so that's why it's showing the color in the part as I'm marking I'm just marking for practice and the more you zoom it the more accurate your image will be and you can see that I am marking and at the end after marking the different points you have to double click to end the point so you can see I have marked the point uh, for selection of tool uh, it's preferable for you to use that select feature rather than this edit tool so uh, for selecting if I want to select that one just click on that one now you can see we have basically two things one is the expo imagery and the second one is the block shape file of polygon so I wanted to uh, change the color or suppose you can say I want to see the inside part of that uh, polygon and I also wanted to change the uh, you can say the outer width uh, line or line line width 
uh, which is very small i cannot see it uh, clearly uh, so i am just going to um, double click on that one and you now you can see the multiple options the multiple op option available there but uh, but i am going to select the hollow one now after clicking the hollow one you can see uh, i can change the color of uh, fill color but i don't want to insert um, or uh, put color inside it because i wanted to see that one in the part so now you can select the color of outline majorly it's recommended for all of you to do it black but in the case of imagery it's uh, it's feasible for you or recommend uh, for you to mark any line which is more uh, attractive for you or you can see easily that color i am just marking it red and you have to increase the width of that one so i am just doing it too so now you can see that width of that one increases so you you can see simply by just changing uh changing the uh, color and the hollow uh, hollow it i am just uh, i have just done it now uh, we are going to learn the uh, another step one major more step is that uh, we are going to use different tools such as the edit vertices tool uh, reshapes i have already have covered and the cut polygon tool this is a major very important tool for if you want to learn digitization so uh, first we are going to uh, remember that thing uh, that first you have to select the inner part if you just click on the cut polygon there is no selection this is the ba basic thing you can say that first select feature select the file or select the sorry uh, polygon which you want to cut so i am just going to select cut polygon tool so um, first i am going to mark there and you can see there i am just go mark roads and that part and you can see i'm marking points and outside so this polygon is now cut it into two parts uh, after using this uh, select feature i can click click on this one and click on this one as well so now i am going to mark another road by using a uh, cut polygon tool and now again i'm doing it you can see uh, this one this one and you can see this one so now i have cut it one more tool the more you will zoom it the more accurate it will but i am just doing it for practice so that's why i'm not uh, zooming it i'm just uh, showing you an example for that one again i'm using uh, cut polygon to it's preferable for you to not to use from that point uh, rather than you should use from outside uh because it will easily cut um, uh, cut the polygon if it's not cut the whole then it will be uncompleted now i'm going to mark outside and you can see uh, again uh, there are two polygon and now i am going to select this one so again i am going to select cut polygon tool and now i am going to mark this road part and this one and i am going to cut there so i have cut it that part and i wanted to eliminate uh, roads because this these are closed so i'm just going to press delete one so now you can see uh, that the roads are shown in the in that the polygon is divided into four polygon you can further divide this into more uh, by using cut polygon this is very important uh, tool we will also discuss further how to digitize an area so for uh, i i have basically shown you how you can use that cut polygon tool now now uh, i am you have seen the uh, the polygon is uh, not accurate uh, you can see that inner part uh, the line is not straight it's a uh, little bit diverged inside so i wanted to correct it so what should i do rather than delete it and make it again uh, no no you don't have to do this one you, you can rather use uh, add vertices tool this is very easy uh, you can see just clicking on add vertices tool uh i am clicking again on edit first you have to select this you have to remember it and now you are going to select edit vertices tool now you are seeing the multiple vertices you have marked previously and now uh, just on uh, pointing on the point you can see that uh, cursor is changed now you can just click on that one and you can move that inside or outside also i am just moving it outside i am zooming it and then i am placing it there and again i am placing it there you can see in this way i can more accurate uh, accur uh, increase the accuracy of my uh, work so just clicking outside now this is accurate so again you can just go to zoom to layer and 
so this in this way you can use the added vertices tool it's very important uh, for you to use many time you want to change the shape of that uh, particular polygon and um, the rather than deleting it creating again it will uh, waste lot of time for you just by using the added vertices or a reshape tool you can easily do it so uh, this is um, about how you can create a polygon shape file and how you can use the cut polygon tool as well as added vertices tool there are multiple uh, again if you, this is one more lesson for you if you are not selecting anything and then you are clicking on added vertices tool still you have to select uh, anything there are multiple options available there uh, that I, ha I have previously not described there are multiple options there in added vertices if you uh, consider that you want to add some more point uh, to increase the accuracy of uh, your work you can still uh, after marking the polygon you can uh, still add the vertices vertex and uh, you can also delete the vertex like this one you will just click on that one you is deleted you want to add one and just click on that one this is the way you can mark polygon that's why the gs is very important very easy but very uh, have very much applications you can and very uh, have variety of options available there so uh, just a uh, sketch property if you want to finish sketch then the image is uh, then the polygon is now completed finished so now uh, this is how you can practically applicable further um, I, in the next tutorial i am going to show how you can use the uh, these polygon to mark um, the different land uses and uh, make a map of that one this is very important tool thank you for my, watching my softic mentor channel if you like the video please uh, uh, like like it and comment it and uh, share with your friends so that they can also take benefit from it thank you so much for watching